Before I begin my remarks today, I'd first like to extend my thanks to all of you for coming here, especially on a day like today with the snow and the slippery roads. I do so appreciate that. Good morning. Good morning. This morning I had a, a conference call with Heather Harker, the chair of our board, who is right now in Boston you know, where they've really been struck pretty hard by the storm and they can't even get out. They may be trapped in their homes for a day or two. And her son Nathan is, of course, thrilled and delighted to have a play day, a snow day. <laughs> but again, I want to thank all of you for coming today. I appreciate it. I would like to welcome you now to a new year, to a new semester, to a new beginning. I hope that each of you have enjoyed a well-deserved winter break. The return of students at both the University and the Clare Center has brought our campus back to life once again. It reminds us of why we are here, our students, obviously. For me, the new year is a time to pause and reflect. The new year brings with it a renewed sense of hope as we look to the future. The new year brings energy and excitement as we begin anew. The new year brings renewed optimism in confronting the many challenges that await us. This new year also means a transition to the next administration. It is now my sixth year as president of Gallaudet University. The search for the next president of Gallaudet is underway. And a new president will most likely deliver the next state of the university address before you next year at this time. If I move a grain of sand, I change the universe. When I accepted the position of president of Gallaudet University, I strongly believed that it was my responsibility to work with this community in order to leave the university better than when I arrived. As we look to Gallaudet's recent history, each president of Gallaudet has done this. President Robert Davila helped lead the university after a tumultuous time. And he worked with members of the community to ensure that our accreditation was reaffirmed when it was in jeopardy. The president before him, Dr. I. King Jordan, built strong relations in Congress and the business community. And the university's endowment and its federal appropriation increased tremendously. Our academic programs and scholarship also increased in number and quality. Dr. Jordan, Dr. Davila, and the seven presidents before all moved the university forward in their own ways. In my own way, I hope that because of the work we have done together, I, too, will leave Gallaudet better than when I arrived. Let us reflect on what we've accomplished together during my five years as president. The most recent, of course, was celebrating our 150th anniversary. Let me share with you the accomplishments we've seen these past few years. 
our graduation rates are rising. We have a National Science Foundation, Science of Learning Center, VL2, and a state-of-the-art brain and language lab, VL2, which are led by world-renowned neuroscientist, Dr. Laura Ann Petito. VL2 and BL2 are releasing research findings that are advancing knowledge of visual language and learning. We were recently awarded a grant from the U.S. Department of Education, National Institute on Disability and Rehabilitation Research, NIDRR, for improving technology for deaf and hard of hearing individuals, led by Dr. Christian Vogler. VL2, BL2, and the NIDR grant are advancing knowledge and contributing to our strategic goals in research, development, and outreach, as stated in Goal E. We have established four new graduate degree programs, a PhD in interpretation, a Master's of Arts in ASL education, a hybrid program, and a Master of Public Administration, as well as a PhD in Educational Neuroscience. Our programs in pre-med, pre-law, and pre-MBA are in early stages or in full swing. The final pre-program, pre-architecture, is in development now. We were given reaccreditation through 2023 by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education. The field house was renovated. The physical campus is alive with change. The field house was renovated to include deaf space principals and new baseball and softball turf fields were added as well as a new track and field facility. With these accomplishments, Gallaudet has demonstrated it is a leader in universal design. Those deaf space principals are evident in our new dormitories the LLRH6, and the future MSSD dorm is now beginning construction. And the upcoming redesign and construction of the HMB Science Labs are underway. The field house was renovated to include deaf space, a new baseball and softball turf fields were added, as well as a new track and field facility. With these accomplishments, Gallaudet has demonstrated it is a leader in universal design. New collaborations have been formed with the U.S. Office of Personnel Management and the MPA program, with Central Piedmont Community College, with the Bachelor of Arts and in Interpretation program, with universities in Japan, China, and Panama, and VL2 Memoranda of Understanding have been formed with 15 universities around the country, including Georgetown, Yale, Stanford, RIT, NTID, and internationally. An area I'm particularly proud of us working together on was to mitigate the impact of the $6 million sequestration cut we experienced. 
we navigated that difficult time. And when the money was restored by Congress, funds were allocated to critical programs and staff. Faculty and teachers were awarded a general pay increase. Our federal appropriation for fiscal year 2015 has increased to $120,225,000, uh, which has allowed us to award another general pay increase this month. Our endowment has increased from approximately $150 million in 2010 to $200 million in 2015. We also have faced challenges. Enrollment remains a top priority for the entire university. The recent Noel Levitz reports is helping to guide us in our strategic decision making. At the same time, the offices of admission and university communications are coming up with unique ways to recruit students. Our I'm In campaign was a big success last year. Some of you here likely participated I'm in was a great way to keep accepted students engaged with our community during that critical time period before they decided whether or not to enroll. I'm in will continue this year. One of the most effective ways of attracting students is our open houses. Students consistently tell us that seeing our campus and our community is what made them decide to come to Gallaudet. And now, for prospective students who unfortunately cannot physically visit our beautiful campus, we have a virtual tour in ASL and English reflecting our commitment to our bilingual mission. Shared governance, meaning involvement of the faculty in the planning and decision-making processes of the university, is an issue that we are still defining. Initial work with the faculty, administrators, and the board has begun. And at the upcoming February Board of Trustees meeting, we will begin our work together to define what shared governance means for Gallaudet and how all constituencies, faculty, staff, and students can be engaged. We have filled key leadership positions over the past year with the hiring of our provost and vice president of institutional advancement. As always, diversity and inclusion remains a top priority and we are moving forward with the process of searching for a new chief diversity officer. Last September, we held campus-wide dialogues to collect feedback about the qualities needed for our next CDO, Chief Diversity Officer. A job description is being developed, and the search and selection process will begin this semester. Our goal is to have a new Chief Diversity Officer this fall. Like all colleges and universities around the country, Gallaudet is engaging in thoughtful and productive dialogue about sexual misconduct 
and assault. This spring, we will have four more green dot bystander intervention trainings. In April, we will recognize Sexual Assault Awareness Month with a variety of educational programming, events that will be open to the whole campus. And by the end of this month, all students, faculty, staff, as well as board members, will have completed our first online training on Title IX, the Cleary Act, and the Violence Against Women Act. Challenges do not mean setbacks. Here at Gallaudet, we embrace challenges as opportunities to grow and change, to continually improve. Challenges do not mean that we should give up nor blame others. Challenges make us stronger and a more supportive community. The challenges we work through today together will ensure the success of our future. As we look to the future and continued evolution of Gallaudet University, we must remain keenly aware of the fact that while we face our own challenges here on Kendall Green, Gallaudet is part of a broader national community of colleges and universities that are all grappling with how to address crises, crises affecting our nation and our world. My hope is that as we approach each challenge or future issue, we do so with tolerance and respect with patience and support, and with open hearts, minds, and eyes. The future holds great promise for Gallaudet University. And during my final year, I will continue to support and help move forward our efforts with new campus development on 6th Street, our theme is focused on transforming from isolation to innovation. In a few years, the 6th Street Corridor that you see today will be transformed into mixed-use development with an urban feel. Imagine shops, restaurants, and living spaces will be just steps away from campus. It will create many opportunities for our community for jobs, internships, training, and collaborations. We will extend our strategic plan into the sixth year, 2016, as we still have work to be done in critical areas of the current strategic plan. The board, along with the new president and the community, including faculty, staff, and students, will take the lead to develop a new strategic plan. New programs require that we invest our resources to maximize the potential through our cost-cutting efforts, allowing us to invest in programs to prepare, prepare students for in-demand careers, like information technology, public administration, and international studies. We need to pursue an infusion of funds to launch new majors and programs currently in the planning stages to prepare students for the workforce in high-demand technology 
healthcare and business sectors, including public health, pre-architecture with an emphasis on deaf space, entrepreneurship, computer sciences, communications and digital media, risk management and insurance, and an educational leadership training institute. We also need to consider development of paraprofessional degree programs in human services, legal, education, and healthcare, which should boost Gallaudet University's strategic enrollment initiative. This spring, we will launch a new Gallaudet brand, which will build upon previous work and include a new tagline, core messages, and strategies for marketing and communication. Noel Levitz has outlined steps to develop a strategic enrollment plan that will be fully executed by the end of this academic year. The challenge I want to address now is to make Gallaudet more student-centered. How do we do this? By improving customer service. Giving students good customer service is essential. It means knowing that everything you do ultimately serves one purpose, our students. We all know this, of course, but it helps to be reminded again and again. Giving students good customer service means being available to answer questions and address their needs. If you don't know the answer, help point the student in the right direction. Even if it means walking a student over to the registrar's office, the financial aid office, the counseling center, or the tutorial center, I understand that campus climate remains a key concern. I am pleased that this issue is being discussed among faculty in the Faculty Senate and among staff in the Gallaudet Staff, staff Council. Concerns and questions are being brought to the attention of administrators and board members. My hope is that our continued efforts on both fronts will unite us all. While I will not be able to see the outcomes of all of these endeavors as president, I am confident that the next president will lead Gallaudet into a successful future and lead the university even better than when he or she arrived. In closing, in this rapidly changing world, we must always be thinking of how we can improve ourselves and our efficiencies. The world around us changes constantly, and so we must adapt. It's what we've always done. We adapt and become leaders. We push for change. We raise the bar. We strive for more. In my last year as president, I will continue to work with the community in order to leave Gallaudet better than when I arrived. We have already accomplished so much together, and I have confidence in our campus community 
administrators, and new leadership on the Board of Trustees. I am confident that we will work hard together this year and lead the way for the next president of Gallaudet University. Let's make 2015 a year to remember. Thank you.